Welcome guys, it's TJ360 here and this is another react to Marvel Spider-Man vs DC DC Static Shock. I remember Static Shock when I was watching watching now um, what we were watching on we were watching on like those they call those those big those big box TV. Not those flat not these flat screen now these uh, like what are you, um, those small, those square TVs. I, I don't remember it. Um, like those square, those square TV. I mean, I keep watching those things. So, I'm gonna let's see. Let's try to add this. Add this so I'm gonna skip it. Okay, wait. Let's get into the wait right here. Let's 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 what it has to right here. Death battle. All right, with facts. Let's begin the facts. At first glance, the world of Earth 1610 isn't so different from our own. But look closer and you'll find Coca Soda instead of Coca Cola, PDNY officers instead of NYPD. And a hamburger uh -huh. and fries can cost 30,000 goddamn dollars! But perhaps the greatest really? difference in this so called old Oh, this is the movie I didn't get to watch, so I have no the clue. Friendly neighborhood no clue. Spider Man was dead. Dead! Dear Miles Morales. He was your typical kid from Brooklyn and didn't have much to worry about except his overbearing mom. I really have no fun in the movie. Appreciate your folks while you have them. You never know when they're gonna pull a surprise Uncle Ben. Well, Jeez. Miles spent most of his time with his more laid back Uncle Aaron, who turned out to be a secret super criminal. Totally relatable. Anyway, during super one criminal. of his days into a secret lab, okay. Aaron accidentally scooped up a spider. The next time Miles visited, the spider got loose and uh, you know what happens. Oh, it bits him. Wow, go. This spider carried the genetic enhancing Oz formula. Yet another attempt to recreate Captain America's infamous super soldier serum. Really? And previously transformed Peter Parker into the first Spider Man. Wait a minute, who came up with the idea to store the super serum in a freaking spider? Yeah, scientists can be weird sometimes. Yeah. Maybe next time, very put it in weird. something that can't walk away. It's got eight legs. That's like four times more walking power. Uh, sure. Either way, with his new powers, Miles donned red and black to become the ultimate Spider-Man. Ultimate Spider-Man? Spider on the block, he does whatever a spider can. He's super strong, super fast, and has the overpowered super radar, the spider sense. After meeting Peter's Aunt May, Miles took up the classic web shooters, complete with multiple types of long to short range weapons. Hmm. Yet another tool that would be perfect for snagging a beer from the fridge without leaving the couch. Boomstick, he was a teenager. Different universe, different drinking laws, right? And also, like <laughs> Peter, he can stick to walls. You know, spider style. Yes, like some spiders, Miles can control his body's interatomic attraction, essentially okay. sticking to walls like a magnet. However, unlike Peter, this subatomic electron manipulation gave Miles a few extra moves of his own. Yeah, really? the kid's got electric powers. Electric? He can zap people with a quick touch, fire off massive explosions, and even turn invisible. Wait, really? what's that got to do with shocking people? This Venom Sting can even take out the Ultimate Universe's Electro, a being literally made of electricity. But Miles didn't just shock him, he disrupted Electro's own charge. What? Similar to a miswiring sending too much electricity in one direction and shorting out your computer when somebody forgot to plug it into the surge protector. Wiz, you know I don't believe in protection for anything. It's going in raw. <laughs> anyway, going in raw. Spider-Man, Miles obviously had a lot to live up to. After his Uncle Aaron died in front of him, Ha! Told you somebody would pull a bend! Miles pushed past the heartache. He persisted, living up to Peter's ideals, and eventually stepped out of his shadow to be Spider-Man in a way only he could. Oh yeah, what's up, danger? He can blast apart a building-sized monster and survived being slammed around by the giant Cassie Lang. That's Ant-Man's daughter. He's smart enough Ant -Man? to hack military Ant -Man? drones and quick enough to destroy an alien device in a microsecond. Essentially, he needed to open and close a portal in an impossibly short time frame to prevent an alien force from invading. It's a long story. Point is, he's super fast. With his spider sense, he can react to things before they even Boy, happen. Let's see. Stop train webs. Roll up a venom symbiote. Knock over Jack. Okay. He's super tough too. He even survived being caught in this giant super collider exploding. Measuring the size of this hole using real world maps of New York and solving mm. for fragmentation. 
we know this explosion must have been equivalent to about 222 tons of TNT. TNT? Yeah, into the comics, but guys, main series Spider-Man has done way crazier things. I mean, he has yeah. the same powers, and Miles has even beat the crap out of him. Classic Pete can bench press 130 tons, use his spider sense to dodge beams of light, and ripped apart Doc Ock's robo arms, which once survived a two kiloton nuclear explosion. So I'd yeah. say the super collider feet checks out. Unfortunately, yeah. Miles' electric powers can tire him out, and his spider sense does not protect him automatically, serving more as an alarm or proximity sensor. But the youngins proved himself to be the best successor a Spider-Man could ever want, and more. He even got pulled into the main Marvel timeline when they blew up the Ultimate Universe. Miles Morales is truly one of the greats. Don't wash the mouth. Wash the hands. Despite growing up in the most crime-filled neighborhood of the All right, let's see Static Shell. Hawkins was a pretty Yeah, I remember this show. He spent his time playing D&D, reading comics, you know, typical nerd stuff. But he had one major problem, the classic sitcom bully. No teenage uh. story is complete without it. During school, he was frequently harassed by local gang leader Francis Stone. Virgil's only refuge was one of his few friends, Larry Wade. Larry convinced Virgil there was only one way to get rid of Francis for good. Join his own gang and pack some heat. Things Jeez. Got, well, pretty intense. Violence, Virgil man. Wasn't having any of it. Back in the day, very violent. Like I should know. On their cinematic universe. But the damage was already done. The police arrived and let loose a massive canister of what seemed to be tear gas, but wasn't. Yeah, this grape-looking mist was actually some experimental shit. It was supposed to tag each gang member so the cops could track them down later. But it was actually laced with radioactive quantum juice, which killed almost everybody. I hate it when that happens. Luckily, Virgil was one of the few who survived, but the quantum juice still had an effect. You could say he was shocked to find out what it did. <sighs> yes, he began to develop electromagnetic powers. Before this, Virgil always felt out of his league, but now he was in a league of his own and became the superhero, Static. Uh, I remember this. Hell yeah! With these new powers, the guy was unstoppable. He hmm. could blow shit up with electric bolts quick as lightning. Big explosions. I gotta watch the show. I gotta watch the show. And taser people with punches to the face. Right, but he's not just good at shocking people. Static can alter the electron attraction. Wait, and that just shocks us first. Near that plasma core, impulse. What? The surface. He can erect extremely durable electromagnetic force fields that block most attacks. He can really? move metal around like a hip young Magneto. And slip metal under his feet to take to the sky. His favorite ride is the Static Saucer, a giant frisbee that doubles as a shield and buzzsaw. Think about it, don't you wish your car could literally cut through traffic? Obviously turning superhuman overnight caught Virgil a bit off guard, but after a few speed bumps, he became a well-regarded superhero throughout the city of Dakota. Even teaming Dakota. up with fellow heroes like Icon and Rocket. Icon and Rocket? Come on, where's Batman and Wonder Woman? Oh, I should mention that while Static is part of the DC Universe, he did not start there. See, Static was originally created by Milestone Comics, which eventually merged with DC. Their characters, including Static, existed in an alternate timeline known as the Dakotaverse. Then a guy named Dharma gained cosmic power and accidentally blew everything up, sending Static into the main DC timeline. It's really not wow. too complicated. Uh -huh. I've actually been working on a device to peer into alternate timelines, but unfortunately it still needs... What? Well now, old chap, what were we discussing but a moment ago? Oh, psych, don't you know? Let's figure out who you're using, Caldy Fuffle. Oh, yes, I'm mad as hops. Let's begin, my fellow Ultra Commodarian. I regret everything. Oh, I'll do it again! <laughs> no! I'm sure that's fine. Well, no matter the universe, Static was always one-upping himself. He learned how to see okay, ultraviolet let's see light what's... and how to make people glow. Wait, 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 what's that got to do with shocking people? That would be his ability to detect bioelectric auras. Static can also create power well, and plasma coils, disrupt the electrical impulses of others, and empower or heal himself by draining energy from outside sources. He can literally reattach his severed arm with shock power. Really? I'm not joking! Look at this! Since when could electricity do that? Clearly, Static has a lot of power at his beck and call. 
He can survive building-sized kabooms, lift hundreds of tons, and once turned this huge chunk of ice into slush and junk. So, what will Galaxy 5G really Come on, really? What's up with all the ads? Like everything I've ever been shown? Yep. Galaxy 5G will download in no time. Now imagine the future. Watch a concert from um. any seat with Galaxy 5G. What the hell? Just a couple seconds. Based on the size These of the ice, the change in temperature for such a feat. Static must have output energy equal to 100. I couldn't skip it, man. What's wrong with it? He's quick enough to intercept lasers confirmed to be beams of actual light, which is pretty darn fast. Beans and in the cartoon, he actually shoved some quantum juice in some lockers and launched them out of orbit. These are typical school lockers, which can weigh up to 30 pounds each. And fit approximately one nerd. To throw three of these into space, they need to be moving nearly 3,000 times faster than sound, requiring a throwing force equal to four kilotons of TNT. Damn! Okay, sure, Damn. that's not canon to the comics, but his electromagnetism could play tug of war with Superboy's telekinesis, which can lift four million tons. I'm not sure static can go that far, but if he's anywhere close, it's still higher than throwing some lockers around. Hmm. Uh, despite Static's incredible power, insulators are his kryptonite, and he can run out of juice if he pushes himself too much. But the guy's one of the coolest superheroes who rarely got his time to shine. Heck, he was good enough to join the Justice League. I think even Virgil himself was shocked to see how cool he really was. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. You know what? But first, all this I put my money on Static angry. Shop through it because I watched Static, and static Shop. Um, skip Blue. it. Skip in the ad because I lot them on the cover strike for it. Uh, right there. Here we go. Let's get into the fight. My money's on Static Shop. Put that. You know, funny. These two, if these two actually hang out there, actually be friends. Taser punch. Wait, what's up? With you? I think my volume is. <laughs> Spider Man senses. Oh, man. Spider Man's doing a lot better than I th thought. Electric Ali. Dang. Dang. This is a closer fight than I thought it would be. Looks like we're kicking off this year with a bang. Poor Miles, though. 
Honestly, yeah. I'm surprised how this turned out. At first glance, Miles appeared to have a good chance of victory. Yeah. He was definitely physically stronger than Static. He would have totally won an arm wrestling. I wanted Static shot to win, but I didn't actually. Power put him at a level. I want that shot to win, but back of my mind, I thought Spider-Man would win because he's the next generation. But I guess I'm, I guess I won my bet. Level above the young Spider-Man. Oh yeah. Overall, Static's feats were way above Spidey's. Even when we scaled Miles to classic Peter Parker's biggest feats, hmm. Static definitely had the oomph to take Miles out. But Miles had no easy way to get around his force field. The variety of techniques at Static's disposal also rent many of Spider-Man's abilities moot. Like how Spidey's invisibility didn't matter when Static could light him up like a Christmas tree. And his speed was so similar to what the spider sense could give Miles that the uh. radar wasn't that big of a help. Remember, just because he knew an attack was coming didn't always mean he could dodge it in time. And, well, shockingly, Static only needed to hit <laughs> once. More puns, His I love it. His manipulation gave him control over Miles' wall crawling and other abilities. As soon as he got a hold of Miles' bioelectric aura, it was basically all over. But hey, Miles and all the other Spider-Men fight Electro all the time. Yeah! And no problem dealing with him. Why was Static any different? Simply put, every iteration of Electro pales in comparison. He has no feats of power that come even close to Static, and frankly, he's an idiot. This was a fascinating <laughs> match. <laughs> oh, he's an no, idiot. again! Yay! <laughs> Mr. Morales put up a jolly good show, and yet Mr. Hawkins had him outdone in breathtaking <laughs> power, stalwart defense, and veritable versatility. Oh, he was just miles ahead of him, don't you know? The victor <laughs> is Static. Hey, thanks for checking out the. Wow, I can't believe that. Wow, I got, I put my money in Static Chuck and Static Chuck actually won. Wow, because Spider-Man has been through a lot, a lot of fights, but I, I think I agree because now I have to go and watch Static Chuck because I don't remember half the episodes. I watch, I watch it, but I don't. I, I don't think I didn't have watched the whole season. I don't even know what season they are. So I'm going to watch that after I upload this. I'm TJ360. And have a fantastic day. As I always say. I'll leave the link down in the description below.